Are you just getting started with the HubSpot CMS or HubSpot landing pages and you just heard the words, you get to add your domain or subdomain? <gasps> Well, never fear, because in this video tutorial, we're going to walk through exactly what you can do to get it set up and get rolling. And the good thing is once it's done, it's done. Hey, you know what time it is. That's right. It's your boy, George B. Thomas from georgebthomas.com. And in this tutorial, we're going to be going over how to add the domain or subdomain to your website, as well as the redirect for the non dub dub www dot version of your website so that no matter what somebody types in they're going to end up on your website or your landing pages depending on what you're trying to do inside of your hubspot landing pages or hubspot cms so without further ado let's go ahead and dive in to the good stuff so you might just be getting started with hubspot cms and you come to website pages and you see something like this build a website that grows your business with CMS Hub. You can start setting it up. You can even go over here and create website and landing pages. But as far as this setup, let me explain what this really means. First of all, we're gonna go to settings. We're gonna scroll down on the left-hand side under website, and you're gonna see domains and URLs. What we're gonna be able to do here is connect a domain. And we're gonna actually select primary domain and hit connect. Now there's a couple different ways that you can do this, but the first thing you need to do before you can do any of it is actually put the domain that you're trying to connect to your HubSpot CMS inside of this box right here. So let's go ahead and get that added. So as you can see, we're setting up properpupgear.com and we're gonna go ahead and hit next here. Notice landing pages, blog, email, and website. We're gonna go ahead and add the dub 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 version of this and then proper pup gear.com and we'll go ahead and hit next now right now we have it set up where the blog website email and all landing pages are going to use that domain now you might see something different here if you're actually just using the landing page tool and the email tool and the blog tool in other words if your website is on a third-party cms you'll actually have a chance to set blog to blog dot whatever your domain name is email to email dot whatever your domain name is and then you can do for landing pages something like resources in Info Education Academy. But in this case, we're just going to have it all on the main domain and we're going to hit next right here. Now, once we do that, what it's going to do is it's going to let us go through a process. Now, if you happen to be using GoDaddy, we can authorize with GoDaddy. If not, you'll probably be prompted to set it up manually where you will copy and paste things into your DNS. As far as DNS, what that means is when you go to, in this case, I am using GoDaddy, Go to your DNS records. You're going to be able to add in certain different ways with certain providers, things like text records, C names, all of that good stuff. But in this case, since we're using GoDaddy, we'll just authorize with GoDaddy. We are logged in, so we'll hit connect. And then this will say it takes about 60 minutes, but we can view the DNS records. This, by the way, is the records that you would copy and paste if you were setting up your default if you didn't have GoDaddy and you were creating these DNS records on whatever it is that you use then this is where you would do that but in this case we're going to go ahead and hit check again and we'll just give it some time and after a little bit of time, you can see it comes up with your primary domain was successfully connected. Note the DNS changes can sometimes take up to 72 hours to take effect worldwide. That's right. You're officially at this point worldwide. Now we're going to hit done and we're going to come and see that we now have website, blog, landing page, email, web version right there that are green. Now one of the next things that you'll want to set up after this is your email sending domain, but we'll create another video about that. But let's go back to this start setting up your CMS. If we click on the start setting up CMS, notice it actually takes us to a user guide. Right now our progress is 25% done. The next thing, select the theme for your site. So we can browse themes. It's going to take us into the marketplace. Or if we go back to the user guide, we can just go select a theme. Well, how would you do that? Well, you can go to settings. You can go to account defaults. We're going to go ahead and name this. And now we've named our account proper pup gear. We'll hit save name. 
And what we can do is go to branding. We can go to my brand kit. And here under themes, we can set a theme. Now, what we're going to do in this case, we could go to the marketplace and I could talk about the theme that I love most. By the way, if you're curious about the theme that I love most, you can just reach out at georgebthomas.com and I can let you know. But we're going to set as active theme. Now we've got that theme set. So if we go back to marketing and website and website pages, notice if we hit this start setting up, now we're 38% done because we've actually set the theme. But we need to customize the theme. It takes about 10 minutes. We're going to go ahead and skip for now because we will actually create another video on setting up your theme settings build your site yep we're gonna build a site we're gonna create a page so let's go ahead and click build site and we're gonna say create your site pages home about contact products and pricing man that sounds like about everything that we need thanks hubspot for being amazing we'll hit next select your layout for your home page we're gonna go ahead and just do something like this oh well, maybe this oh they look a lot alike we don't need logos though actually i like this idea right here so we'll hit next and then logo centered or logo left we're going to go ahead and do logo left hit next finally pick the layout for your site footer you know what i like the idea of this site footer so we're going to hit finish and guess what hubspot is going to go ahead and start creating our pages and populating default content that we'll actually be able to fill in talk about helping us speed up the process now what we're going to do now is explore the drag and drop editor we'll skip for now because again we'll do another tutorial on that publish and manage your pages we can start publishing if we go here to start publishing you can now see that we have those how many pages five pages that hubspot has built for us and if we hit home here it's going to take us to the edit screen we can edit this to our heart's content but we can hit publish and I'll just publish page now, only because I know nobody is actually looking at this website yet. And notice it says we're at 88% finished a task. Now we can create a blog or we can go back to the user guide. We're going to go ahead and create a blog. What we'll do is we'll call this the Proper Pup Gear Blog. And of course, we're creating a blog because we understand the power of content and it being the fuel the engine, if you will, for the inbound ability. Now here we're going to get rid of this slug. We don't want it to be proper pup gear, but we are going to leave the word blog in it. So then in the future, we can actually target with pop-up slide-ins, anything that contains the word blog. Because notice it's not at the beginning of this domain but we will have it as a slug. And then we can add our meta description right here. And as you can see here, we've got within 17 characters. Are you ready to learn more about, we'll just do less there, about the ways you can help your service dog look and feel great. Each week we release new articles on, and we'll just use the word proper pup gear and We'll just stop there. And what? It's the tease, dot, 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 because this meta description will be shown in search engine result pages. So now we'll go ahead and hit create blog. It's going to take us back here and look at the CMS hub setup complete 100%. No, we're not going to go to the sales hub guide, but we are going to go back into our settings for a second. And we're going to look at redirected domains. What we want to do here is connect a redirect domain. And we're going to go ahead and put in properpupgear.com and we'll hit next. We want that to go to the dub 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 version and we'll hit next here again. Notice we've got a redirect properpupgear.com to www.properpupgear.com. We'll hit next and then we're going to go ahead and authorize that with GoDaddy again. And now what that does is anybody that selects the non dub dub version or the dub dub version, it's all going to go to the website that we're building. And again, we'll be able to check this later to make sure it gets propagated. But now we truly are set up because we have our website pages that we're ready to build. We have our dub, dub, dub and non dub, dub versions. And there you go with HubSpot CMS and the HubSpot settings area. It's that simple. It's that easy. If you have problems, however, getting your domain or subdomain set up, make sure you reach out. You can always go to georgebthomas.com. Hit that contact us or our questions 
question page and ask us any question and get the help that you need. Until then, make sure you're focused on doing some great marketing, some great sales, or some great service. And of course, make sure you're focused on being a happy, helpful, humble human. And we'll see you in the next video.